Dr. Joe here. Now, in today's video, we're going to be talking about a role that vitamin D plays in our body for which it is highly underrated. That is what we're going to be talking about. Now, in our bodies, we have a process that is called immune tolerance. Now, we have immune cells in our bodies. Uh, these immune cells, they match around the body like soldiers because they're out there to defend us. And what they do is, when these immune cells approach another cell in the body, they will ask two questions. Question number one, do you belong here? Question number two, are you one of us? If the answer to both questions is yes, the immune cells will say, thank you very much, and they will move along. And when they approach a cell that answers no to both questions, of course, they will strike. That's their job. Now, this process is complex, and it operates seamlessly in the body. However, sometimes this process goes out of sync. And that is when we develop certain diseases. And that is what we're going to be talking about in this very video, the role that vitamin D plays in the prevention of these uh, very diseases. Now, this process is a little bit complex, but I'm gonna try my best to break it down such that you guys will understand the concept very well. And uh, towards the end of the video, I'm also gonna share with you an analogy that will cement this very knowledge with you for the rest of your life. How about we jump right in? Yes, yeah, so the journey of uh, the vitamin D hidden benefit we're going to be talking about begins here. Where is here? Well, here is the thymus gland, okay? The thymus gland is in the upper half of your chest. And uh, please do not confuse it with the other gland that is called thyroid gland because the thyroid gland is at the front of your neck, not your chest. So the thymus gland, what happens there? Well, the thymus gland is where immune cells that are called T cells, that's where they develop. Uh, it's in the thymus gland that these T cells multiply hugely. And uh, also in the thymus gland is where these T cells mature before they are released into circulation to protect you. Uh, before they are released into circulation to defend you because these T cells, they are powerful defenders. They're like soldiers matching in your blood circulation to defend you. So it is in the thymus gland where all of this uh, maturation actually takes place, multiplication and maturation. And also uh, an essential process that takes place in the thymus gland is that the T cells over there in the thymus gland, they are programmed to recognize self from non-self. What do I mean by this? Self uh, refers to your tissue, okay, your cells. The T cells should not be attacking your tissue. The T cells should not be attacking your cells. If they do, then that's a problem. That's what's called autoimmune condition. Rather, they should be attacking tissues that do not belong to you, the non-self. So the T cells, uh, they're programmed in the thymus gland to recognize you from non-you, if that makes sense. So what I'm referring to here is the ability of the T cells to distinguish between your cells from harmful invaders. These are external cells like bacteria, like viruses, like fungi. The T cells should be attacking those cells. They shouldn't be attacking your cells. If they start attacking your own tissue, that by definition is autoimmune disease. So for instance, if they're attacking your skin cells, then you will develop uh, psoriasis, they're attacking uh, your joint tissues, that by definition is rheumatoid arthritis. If they're attacking the beta cells of your pancreas, that by definition will lead to type 1 diabetes. So you have all sorts of autoimmune conditions. And the reason that is happening is because the cells have lost the ability to recognize self from non-self. So where does vitamin D come into this very picture? Well, vitamin D is necessary for this uh, self-recognition step to occur. Uh, vitamin D uh, sends text messages to these cells and, and then they are taught properly such that they're able to recognize self from non-self. And then of course, if vitamin D is not around, then obviously the text message won't be sent and then these cells, they are poorly trained to recognize your tissue from 
uh, cells that do not belong to you. Uh, this is where vitamin D's importance actually uh, comes into play. So lack of vitamin D, of course, when it is lacking, then your risk of autoimmune diseases uh, goes up. And I'm referring to diseases like lupus, type 1 diabetes, rheumatoid arthritis, Sjogren's syndrome, multiple sclerosis, psoriasis, and uh, Graves' disease. Graves' disease is a condition of the thyroid. It is an autoimmune condition of the thyroid uh, where the thyroid becomes hyperactive and uh, you develop what we call hyperthyroidism. So these are some of the autoimmune conditions that uh, whose risk goes up, uh, goes through the roof when you are lacking vitamin D. And uh, why is this happening? Well, lack of vitamin D leads to your immune tolerance diminishing. That means your T cells become poorly trained to recognize your tissue from tissue that does not belong to you. And the other thing that happens is just to complicate matters, when you lack vitamin D, then your thymus gland uh, ages faster as well. So, um, you know, you just don't win at all. Uh, vitamin D is necessary. And this is the piece of research that explains a lot of this. Uh, it was published in Science Advances. Uh, it was a research article with the title, Skewed Epithelial Cell Differentiation and Premature Aging of the Thymus in the Absence of Vitamin D Signaling. Okay, so here is the analogy. If you imagine the thymus gland to be a classroom and the students being the immune T cells, and uh, who's going to be the teacher? Well, vitamin D will be the teacher. Now, when vitamin D, the teacher is around, the students are going to learn very well. They will learn the art of self-recognition. They will learn to recognize cells that belong to ourselves from cells that uh, do not belong to us, the foreign invaders. Now, if the teacher is not around, vitamin D is lacking, some students will be good at self-instruction, others will not be very good at self-learning. And the ones that are not very good at self-learning in the absence of the vitamin D, they are the ones that will be attacking self. They are the ones that will cause autoimmune diseases. So this is a very nice analogy. In fact, there's a real life study that was carried out a couple of years ago where they gave over 21,000 study participants vitamin D to take every day for five years. And guess what happened? The incidence of autoimmune diseases came down. They discontinued the study after five years. And what the study authors did was follow up some of the participants who discontinued their daily vitamin D. They followed them up for another two years. And guess what happened? The incidence of autoimmune diseases started creeping up again. So it is clear that vitamin D is essential for this role of immune tolerance. So what's the moral of this very video presentation? Well, it is that you need to take your vitamin D on a daily basis or get it from the sun to reduce your incidence of autoimmune diseases. That's essentially what this video is about. So I am hoping that you got some value from this very video. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up, please like the video. And also please share this video with your friends, with your family, with your colleagues. If you got any questions, any comments regarding the content of this video presentation, go ahead and leave your comments or questions down below. Take your vitamin D on a daily basis and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, well, this is Dr. Joe signing out.